Welcome everyone. Today is May the 12th, 2024 and I want to thank everyone for helping me try to figure out why this drill is not working. It's basically new. I've only used it like once and I was able to just drill some holes in five gallon buckets but I never actually used it for drilling screws or anything like that. So I had to figure out how to work this drill and it wasn't working. So what happened was if you take a screw, let me see what you're here. Okay, so if you took a screw and you put it in here, it would only drill in like this much. Wait, it only drill in about this much. And I couldn't figure that out. There's no reason for it. So I ended up, a neighbor from down the road came and what he did was, he said, well, it should work. There's nothing wrong with it. It's on the icon that shows screws where you use it to drill in screws. Why doesn't it work? So he was playing around with it and he put it on the setting where you would use the, like the drill bit to pre-drill a hole, not a screw, but a hole. So he put it on that setting and sure enough, it works. So if you're drilling a screw, you don't use the icon that shows a screw. Who makes this stuff? Like that's so ridiculous. That makes no sense to me. Oh, you have to use the icon for the other thing. So that's, it's just ridiculous. And you know, it's very frustrating because like there was no reason for it not to work. Who would have thought to put it on a setting for something you're not using? So anyways, not impressed, but I can say that this drill, I don't know if I can do it in here, but anyways, let's just say it does work. So I finally was able to figure that out and all by myself, I, I was able to get my saw to work. I hate saws. I won't, I don't like using saws ever. If I have to use a saw, I just won't do something, but I have to do things or they don't get done. So I did find that little electric saw that is small and it seems a lot safer than other ones so I do feel comfortable using it and it's good enough it does what I need to do so I was able to all by myself build my privacy fence so I still have a ton of work to do behind the fence because I have a lot of stuff I have to sort and clean from last year it's all garden stuff but I am getting things out of my greenhouse and you know, last year I just wasn't prepared for winter at all. I had too many things I had to repair in the house and it was just, it was just a bad time. So things just got shoved in the greenhouse and now I have to do all the cleanup and everything before I can reuse it. But that's okay. Number one thing on my list was this privacy fence. I do have more important things like I need raised beds and like all kinds of other stuff. But I live this close to the road and even though I live way out in the middle of nowhere, I'm at the beginning of the middle of nowhere. So all of the people behind me who live in those little villages, they have to go up and down this road to get to their homes. And I'm also right next to a highway too. So, you know, there's just so much traffic and the noise is one thing, but the nosy neighbors is another. So when most people drive by, they will actually slow their vehicle down so they can stare. They like to see what you have and you know, oh, if you're outside, what are you wearing? Well, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You know, and it's everything. It's not just bad. It's like, no matter what you do, it's, well, why, why, why didn't you do this? Or why well, would have done it that way? Or why don't you get rid of this? You don't need that. Or, oh, you're just one person. Why do you even have a big house? Why are you just getting a part? You know, so, <laughs> around here their mindset's just very different than mine and it's too much <laughs> so um one of my top most like main things i have to focus on is getting that done so i'm very proud of myself that i was able to figure it out to do it myself and get it done so i will show you it's not done though so i got the framing put up it's just now i have to paint the wood because you can't just leave it unpainted, it'll rot. So I have to paint the wood, then I have to uh, screw the lattice on after the wood's painted. So for now, it's zip ties. 
and they hold up very well. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Dandelions are out. So, main thing is I was able to get the framing done and next it's just a matter of getting the paint and then I can permanently put the lattice up. So, very, very pleased. Um, this is exactly what I needed. And I also found some, well, everything's so expensive. I was, the things I wanted, I couldn't even find. But, well, I could find it, but not at the price I wanted. So I ended up finding a really good deal because I need cheap or free on these white rectangle planters. And they're not the kind that hang over because I don't want any weight pulling on it. But these are exactly what I was looking for. So they're rectangle planters and they're gonna go like right on the rail. So I got 12 of them and they're 17 inches wide, I believe it is, or long, I believe it is. So I think I'll have enough to go here, but on the other side, I don't think I'll have enough, but I'm going to put a lot of really like bunching flowers in there, like flowers that are just really bushy. So I think if I leave a little bit of space in between each one, I might be able to stretch it out and, and make them fit over the other side and this side. But um, I am going to put planters, across, white plastic planters across there with my flowers. And then this here, I have to clean this up wind blew everything but I am gonna put some wood in front of that as you can see I over braced everything I'm very very particular so um, you know the ground does shift so you got to be really careful um, and extra braces are good but anyways um, here not right now but later I'm going to put a raised bed all along here right to the end and this here, I want to be all my mosquito repellent plants. So, um, garlic and um, like lavender, mint, I don't know, what is it? Oregano, basil, I wrote them all down, but there's all kinds of plants that they hate, like lemongrass, anything lemon, they hate that too. So this will be all mosquito repellents. And then at the top, it'll be pretty flowers. So I'll get both um, things I need. And then in here is going to be, I think mostly tomatoes, peppers, and then, you know, you plant basil. But I have to check my companion planting. I did want to, once this is done, because I have to stay in the outside of this, um, just like the outside and the outside of the poles. Um, so I did want to put like peas and anything that needs to grow up of something and, be and beans all around the edge, because this will be fenced in. This is gonna be quarter inch galvanized steel hardware cloth um, here, all around here. The top and leaving open so pollinators can easily get in and out, but it's mostly like raccoons and skunks and um, mice and everything else. I wanna do the best I can to keep them out of here. Um, you know, yeah, I realize they, they could probably climb it and jump in, but if you, if you don't make it easy, they're more likely to just keep on going until they find something they can easily get into. So, I do still have to do the back, but that's for another day. So I at least got the most important thing done and that's at least have some privacy fencing. This is now three years that I have never been able to enjoy living in this house. I've never been able to sit on my front porch and just, just feel at peace, you know? Cause every time people drive by, they stare at you and it's just a creepy feeling. I feel like I'm back in the city. I don't like it. It doesn't make me feel good. And so I can never enjoy my own home and the things that I work so hard for and to build and all the work I put into stuff. So I have this big, huge, beautiful deck and I can never even enjoy it. Then on top of that, there's the mosquitoes and all these other bugs I've never even heard of. There's these tiny little things and they bite my ears. <laughs> it's weird because it's only my, it's like my ears. They always bite them and they, my ears will swell. They're just horrible. And I don't know. I'm not from the country. I don't know. But we got 
my neighbors tell me they're like oh there's deer flies horse flies there's um this and that just all kinds of stuff that bite so i do need to have some kind of enclosed thing with fencing or not fencing but screening so you know this here it's not 100 percent you know privacy fencing but it's good enough and it, you get airflow with the wind and stuff so here what i have to do though is i have to cut my cedar wood i still have some pieces left and i'm going to put a brace across there on the inside and then i'll be able to attach the lattice and then i'm going to put one along the bottom and then i can attach the lattice so that's for another day i mean the main thing is at least to getting it up even though it is zip ties and gift wrap ribbon <laughs> it works it's holding it up so that's what I've been up to and very, very proud because now for the first time, I think I may be able to actually enjoy my, my porch and I'm going to fill the inside with a whole bunch of five gallon buckets all along the perimeter of the inside with, you know, mosquito repellent plants, but also some things that I've, I've wanted for so long I've just never been able to get because, you know, everything costs money, and especially this house, and there's never any extra money. So this year, I'm finally going to be able to have flowers. So I'm, I'm growing sweet peas because they smell so amazing. I'm going to put lots of sweet peas in there. I do have some peonies in five gallon buckets that were, I bought bare root and they're really growing well. So I want beautiful flowers with that smell amazing. So the inside is going to look great. And then all along here, I'm going to put those white um, flower planters up there. I haven't decided here because, you know, I wanted to still have clean up from roof. So this pile here, like this is the stuff and I have so much I have to do. So I can't, I can't clean up that last bit of the shingles from having to redo that roof. What happened was, so when the roof was being scraped off, you know, the person helping me um, didn't put a tarp down or anything. It just got all thrown on the ground and then was going to just clean it up, but he never did. So he never came to help me. And so I got what I could up, but it would ra it started raining and freezing rain and then it would actually freeze to the ground and i can't get it up and um and then the snow was coming so anyways it was just too much for me i would put a little bit in the garbage can every week you know because you can't put too much but because the weight so i would just put a little bit but that last bit i couldn't get up it was just literally like frozen in the ground i tried using a shovel and it just it was it was awful so i had to leave it and now that the snow is melted, I was able to get more pulled up, but I still have that last little bit. So once I get that cleaned up, I will be putting a privacy fence here, so I'll be extending it, and that'll give extra support to the corner of that. So it'll just be going along the ground, just straight up. I'm, it's not going on an angle. And I'm gonna put a gate right at the end. So I think it'll look nice and I've got privacy fencing plus a gate that I can lock so people aren't coming, you know, snooping around like, you know, my doors or anything like that. There's no reason for anyone to be here unless they know they're coming. And I've told the few people I know here, if for some reason you need to stop by, make sure you let me know first. And I tell people this like 50 million times because it's just the way that I was raised. Like, if you go to someone's house, you first ask, you know, if you can stop by or, you know, you don't just show up at somebody's house. But here, apparently, that's what you do. You just show up at people's house. You don't tell them you're coming ahead of time. You just show up. And it I just creeps me out. I don't like that. And I don't understand that. So, you know, I want to lock on my gate. And it'll just help, you know, keep nosy people away. <laughs> and um, it'll make me feel just a little bit better. So... That's what I'll be working on next. And then here, I haven't decided. So once I get this cleaned up, I was thinking of leaving it because if I ever had to unload something, you can back a truck up all the way to the ramp and you could just load or unload something. But at the same time, you know, you could also back the truck up like, you know, here and then so I really was thinking of putting in like a nice um, garden here with something, I don't know, just something good that I can use for tinctures or canning. But 
I don't know. I haven't decided. So I might do, I might just make a raised bed all the way here, just like I did on the other side. So I might just go all the way and that'll cover all of that too. I'm going to board that up first, but I think I might do mosquito repellents. So I haven't decided yet, but that's what I've been working on. Everything's a work in progress. I have so many projects going on, as you can see. So I still have roof stuff that has to go in the greenhouse. That's also my part garage, but I have to organize that because there's just no shelves, there's no room, and I can't just pile everything. So that I'm working on, that stuff I can salvage, except that part's garbage. That's the weather shield that got ripped off when I had to redo the roof. So that part's garbage, but all that's good. Got some strapping, pack of shingles, and some things. So there's just so much, and the wind blows everything all over the place here. It's like hurricane wind strengths. It's, it's nuts. And then I have to go chasing everything. So it's, just, it's a lot of work, but you know, it's, I just think of this as just a place that I'm staying. It's not my home. It's a construction like site, but it's an ongoing construction site. But you know, I don't feel like this is my home. This is just what God has allowed me to, to have so that I can use it to be able to purchase the land where I need to be. And that will be my forever permanent home. And I'll just feel a lot more peaceful because I don't get peace here at all. Uh, it's definitely better than the city, so I can't complain. But I just, I want to be able to hear like the wildlife and just quiet and peace. But here it's like squealing to like cars and trucks and semis. I mean, the highway is like right there. So I've got semis and then it curves. So right, it curves going that way. So I hear them just like crazy. It's just 24 hours traffic plus the road. It's too much. So I'm doing the best I can with what I have and having to do things myself. So I'm hoping that like it is a really nice home. It just needs a little bit more work, but it's a really great home. It's very well built and it is a great area, great land. It's just that it doesn't have a basement and it's too close to the road. So those are the two most important things on my list. So I'm gonna do the best I can, but you know, in the meantime, I have to live here. So there are certain things that I have to do for my own peace and just sanity. But you know, I think a lot of this stuff is also gonna increase the value of the home as well. So you got some curb appeal. I mean, this is nice. If somebody has kids or pets, it'll be fully fenced off and you can let your kids play and you don't have to worry about them. Or if you have a pet, they can, you know, enjoy the, the summer. And then you can just, if it's a dog, you can take them out when you can watch them. You'll have the gate. So. You know, it's it's great, but it's, you know, I'm doing it for me. But at the same time, it's multi-purpose. It, it'll increase the value of the home once it's finished and it's all beautiful and nice. And this here still needs to get finished too. But at least the structure's up. So, you know, everything's work in progress. Got to get a new roof, new windows. I got to put, that's actually original wood siding from 1912 when the house was built. I was thinking of trying to scrape it all off and just paint it it's just that i don't also don't like ladders ladders and saws so i ain't getting up there so and i can't reach very high so i could do the bottom but not the top um so i don't know i have to figure out what's the best option because i'm gonna have to have pay try and find somebody and pay them um i can get a contractor from out of town but it's 80 bucks an hour so Right now, it's just gonna stay like that. But, um, you know, I think once the front of the house here has the new siding, I also need new windows. Actually, it's original wood windows on the other, on the other side of those metal storm thing. I don't know, whatever you call those metal, old metal windows. The, they're actually on the outside of the original wood windows. So, need new windows, need new front door, siding, roof, like everything. But, you know, I, I believe that it, it'll get done. I am gonna have to take out a loan, which I don't wanna do. Hopefully all goes well and I'll actually be able to do that. But so far it seems like I'm just doing whatever I can with what little money I have each month to spend. And then 
Uh, worst case, in September, I'll see if I can get the loan, if everything works out. It's just a line of credit on the house. And then I can get the things done that I need so I can put this up for sale. And at the same time, I could also find a cheap piece of land in the area I want. Hopefully I can do that. Buy it, start getting stuff moved out there. I can build a little shed because I know how to use a saw and a drill now. And so that's my plan is, um, you know, if I have to take out a line of credit, you know, have, cause you always want to have a place to live before you sell a house. So I have to buy my land quickly before it snows and build a big, huge, like woodshed garage thing, just basic and start getting stuff out of here in there. So this can be cleared and up for sale. And most likely I'm probably going to have to build myself a little, t a tiny home with a wood stove because I just don't want to be here another winter. Um, if I have to, I will, but it's, it's getting too much on me. Like, it's just too much. Every four hours, I gotta reload the wood stove and clean it out. It interrupts your whole sleep for eight months. Eight months out of the year, I'm constantly having to wake up to alarms because I have to get up and go reload the wood stove. And it's just by the time, you know, by, by the time I fall asleep, I now have to get up again to reload the wood stove. And it's just, it's just too hard on me. It, every time I have to go into town to get groceries or something, you know, if I'm gone more than four hours, I come home, the fire's out, the house is cold. And I've already had frozen pipes that have burst and I've had water damage and flooding. And so, you know, it's, it's just more than I can handle at this point. So that is pretty much the end of my video for today. So thank you to those who tried to help me figure out why this stupid drill would not work. Cause you know, I need, I need to, things to work and I don't understand instructions because they're just messed up so actually I will do a video showing you how to use that saw in case anyone's interested because that also I could not get that to work why because the instructions were wrong it clearly shows you have to do this one this one way to get the blade in but it the way it tells you not to do it with the big x is actually the way you have to do it to get the blade it's just, I don't understand Black & Decker, but their instructions are horrible. And <laughs> my drill, it has like, you have a picture of a screw. Why is it that, <laughs> that that's not the setting you use to put, to drill screws in? You have to use a setting that's not for screws. It's just so messed up. But anyways, so I just want to thank everyone for helping me. And this is the end of my video for today. But, um... I think I have, oh, tomorrow I'll post a quick garden tour so far because I watered all my plants and I still have more to do, but for now I did get a little bit more organized. So I'll post my garden tour tomorrow, um, my greenhouse, that's just, you know, where I'm at so far. And I might have one or two other interesting things. Oh yes, my yard sale find from down the road. And this is the stuff I love. And the price was right too. So I will do my yard sale haul. It's not very big, but you know, it's, you know, it, it, it's good stuff. And for the little bit of money I had to work with, I think I did good. So I will see you tomorrow and it is extremely windy. My dog is telling me it's time to go in the house because she hates the wind, the rain and the snow, just like me. So I will see you tomorrow.